Hello everyone, welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkan and this is another tutorial on ANSYS Fluent. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can compile a UDF, user-defined function, in ANSYS Fluent. I know it's a bit problematic, uh, it's a bit difficult and complicated for many users, for many students, and they have many issues with that. So they choose to use, for example, expressions or uh, another software uh, instead of uh, writing and you know writing a, a UDF and compile it uh, into ANSYS Fluent. So if you have problems in that, please watch this video carefully. Uh, I'm going to show you the steps you have to uh, follow uh, in order to compile a UDF without any problems. So before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please do that. Uh, in this channel, I talk about CFD, uh, mainly using uh, ANSYS Fluent, uh, from pre-processing up to post-processing. I have many different uh, playlists and videos. You can enjoy them. So if you uh, find them uh, useful, please share them with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. So, uh, see here, I have this UDF code. You can see it, you can open it using a Notepad++. This is a simple uh, defined property UDF for defining viscosity of, a, of the fluid uh, with respect to temperature. Uh, yes, with respect to temperature. So it's simple, but the thing that I'm going to show you is how you can compile a UDF if you are using your PC. Not, uh, but not. I'm not talking about uh, HPCs or you know supercomputers. I'm talking about uh, your PC uh, in Windows. Uh, so. You saw that I have a simple UDF. What are the steps now? The first one is to have a correct UDF. So the user defined function should be correct. You should check it line by line um, to see whether you can find a mistake. For example, sometimes a parenthesis is missing or I don't know uh, some plus or minus uh, so you have to check and double check uh, your code uh, to see if it is uh, correct or not if you find a mistake you should uh, correct it before you uh, before trying for the compile method so after that, you need an appropriate Visual Studio. Uh, UDFs in ANSYS Fluent, actually most of the UDFs, I know ANSYS Fluent has a, a built-in, you know, compiler. You can use it and you can uh, use it for, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe 40% of the UDFs. So you don't need uh, Visual Studio if you are using newer versions of ANSYS, for example, 2024. Uh, but if you are using uh, an old version like seven, 2017 or something, you need this Visual Studio for almost all the UDFs that uh, you, are, you need. So, the first step, having a correct UDF. The second step, you should install an appropriate Visual Studio. Uh, okay, let me show you something. If you go to the directory in which you have installed 
ANSYS, ANSYS IMC, for example, this is 2022R1, uh, uh, this is the version. Go to the folder and find Fluent. Uh, yes, maybe NTBean, Win64, and then you should look for, let me find it first. Mm. One dot bat. That's something that we have to find. Let me check B. No, it's not there. It should be here. Oh, it's here, UDF. Open it. Here in this file, you can find the versions uh, of Visual Studio that you can use uh, with your uh, ANSYS version. For example, uh, with version 2022 R1, uh, I can use uh, Visual Studio 20. 19, uh, 2017, 14, 12, and 11, and 10. So, as you can see, and I think uh, you can use uh, another versions of Visual Studio, for example, 2015 or 13. The, the point is, this is the last version you can use. So, 2019 is the last version of your Visual Studio you can use. Uh, okay, after that, uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, so now I have an appropriate Visual Studio, a correct through UDF, and the last step is to run Workbench or ANSYS Fluent uh, through Visual Studio. So if you are using Workbench, or standalone Fluent, you have to run it uh, through Visual Studio. But how? You should search for, in your Windows, X, uh, X64, Cross Tools, Command Prompt for Visual Studio 2019. As you can see, the Visual Studio I have on this system is 2019 and so I can use it. Uh, so search for x64 cross tools command prompt. Open it. Okay, now you have to run uh, ANSYS Fluent through or Workbench uh, through this Visual Studio. If you are working with uh, Workbench, search Workbench then right click on that, open file location, right click properties and copy this target, paste it in the Visual Studio by simple right click, press enter. Now you can see that the workbench is running through Visual Studio and now you can compile your UDF without any error. Okay, now the workbench is running, so I can drag and drop my workbench and, for example, I'll open this fluent. to compile my UDF. Okay, uh, so let's say what you should do if you are working with standalone version of uh, Fluent. Then instead of 
workbench you should search for fluent right click on that click on open file location right click properties copy this target and paste it here press enter now you can see the workbench oh, sorry the ansys fluent in a standalone mode is running through visual studio so if i go to desktop this folder and open my case you can see that i can easily compile the udf and i think you know what you sh what uh, you should do here you should go to user defined tab function compile add and then search for the UDF uh, a tip is always copy the UDF in ANSYS Fluent folder so this is FF1 Fluent so let me just copy and paste it here here you can see it then you can click on build uh, after that you should uh, look at console to see whether uh, there is a mistake or some kind of error uh, sometimes you have some mistakes in the code as I mentioned before uh, for example I don't know a plus sign is missed or a parenthesis or something so if uh, that's the case you can see the error here in the console but if you saw this done just like me a few seconds ago then you can click on load and as you can see the udf is compiled successfully the same process uh, the process for compiling the udf in standalone fluent is the same so it's easy you can compile your UDF uh, in order to uh, compile your UDF correctly otherwise you will get the error I think the error is really well now uh, let me check if I have to see if I have the error let me check yes here you can see the well-known error the UDF library you are trying to load is not compiled for 2DDP or 3DDP on the current platform this is the well-known error and uh, it has some reasons the first one and the main reason uh, is that the Visual Studio you are using is not matched with the ANSYS version that you have so, or um, many students uh, never run ANSYS Workbench or Fluent through that Visual Studio so uh, just having that Visual Studio on your system is not enough you have to run the workbench or the ANSYS through that Visual Studio and now you know how you can find the best version uh, that works for you uh, actually here I have two suggestions for you these two Visual Studio Ultimate 2010 and uh, 2013 uh, you, you can uh, yes I think you can use these Visual Studios with any version of ANSYS Fluent even ANSYS Fluent 15 you know the version that uh, release that is released 10 years ago so these are the best Visual Studios although if you have another version on your system now you know how you can use it so that's it this is the end of this video I hope I hope you've enjoyed it and you find it uh, useful uh, if so please subscribe the channel share these videos with your friends and like these videos that's uh, 
everything that I want from you, your support uh, is really great for me. So thank you for watching this video. Until the next video, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.